All right, uh, thanks for joining. I have a video here about seven laps from an event from this past week at Summit Point. Um, I've uh, taken this footage in the afternoon from the mid-afternoon session, session number four or five. And uh, this particular event was put on by Summit Point itself, great organization only have good things to say about them. This is really my first time running with them. I have previously uh, ran with uh, the Porsche Club and the BMW Club of America um, at various tracks. Um, but this here is my home track and um, I started the season with seat time because this really was the first um, event that one could sign up for where you can run a full track. Um, so I have a video here of about seven laps and you know, mainly this is um, targeted towards folks that have one question about okay, seat time, what it is, how is it run, and two, um, people that may be new to the track and um, you know, are curious about how to get started. So, so first about seat time. Um, so seat time uh, is ran on Fridays at Summit Point. Uh, maybe once every four or five weeks. Um, there are only two run groups. The way it's split is into group one, which are the street cars, and group two, which are competition cars. So in the street cars, we had uh, some pretty fast Corvettes. Um, um, Porsche GT3 came in. Uh, pretty much any car that you are, uh, that you can take on the street, you can take here, with the exception of um, SUVs, pickup trucks, obviously. Um, the competition group had mainly Miatas, uh, a couple of uh, Integras and uh, Civics in it. Um, so you only run two groups, you have three sessions in the morning, four sessions in the afternoon, so 20 minutes each. Well, that gets you to two hours and 20 minutes, which is quite a lot of time. And uh, you know, it's relatively affordable. Um, to get signed up for one of these. Uh, now the caveat here is for seat time, because there are no instructors, you have to be soloed uh, through either Friday at the track or another equipment organization that uh, Summit Point will recognize, which will be most of the organizations that will run at Summit Point, such as uh, Porsche Club, BMW Club, Audi Club, uh, Chin Track Days, um, you know, SCC, Racing license that's sufficient. Um, so here I am on lap number two. Um, usually try to take at least two laps to warm up the car, warm up the tires. It was a cold day, um, and the temperature this time of the year, day was uh, low to mid 40s. Uh, we didn't see the sun pretty much all day so there wasn't going to be a lot of um, temperature in the track so there wasn't going to be any fast times being uh, pulled. Here I am giving the car behind me a heads up that I see them and I'm going to let them pass. I think this was a uh, uh, Corvette so I'm going to stick my head hand out of the window here and point to my right uh, which is a signal for the car to go ahead and pass me. Uh, you know, check your mirrors after that and make sure there isn't anyone else sneaking in. Um, and the Corvette just kind of walks away. It's got a lot more power than me. Um, in this clip, I, I'm using my 2018 too. It's, it's, it's a fast enough car for me to get into plenty of trouble. But these uh, Corvettes, and there was a uh, GT3, a Porsche GT3, uh, were pretty fast. So I did catch up with him over here. So. Uh, so anyway, um, I will also had um, tires that were more than two-thirds worn, um, so I was being very careful with them. The fronts were about halfway uh, worn, and the back I had less than a third. I was giving myself a thumbs down because that was a really bad line. I think I was probably still distracted by the Corvette um, ahead. Um, 
In this video, I'm showing seven laps. Uh, the last lap was my fastest lap in this session, which I think was like 128, one or 127, one. Um, I have my personal best here is about 125.4 on Michelin Pilot Sport 4 S's. Uh, here I have the Continental Conti uh, Sport 3's on, and I think in this session pretty much the, the rear tires were pretty much gone. Uh, they were not quite slicks quite yet, but uh, it wasn't very far from that. And uh, when there was a little bit of a rain falling, um, they lost almost all of their grip. So yeah, you have to be, you know, I had to be very careful. Didn't want to get myself in any trouble. So I wanted to bring the car back on the way uh, that I showed up in it. And um, really the point of, of my exercises was to um, make sure that I am uh, just getting familiar with the car after being uh, away from the track for, for about five months and just getting a little more comfortable with it. So here we're coming up on a it's like an E36. I haven't talked to this guy. I don't know if he's done anything to it or not. Uh, he's, he's doing pretty well over here. I have a lot more power than, than he does in the car. So once we get past turn nine, I think I'll get the uh, point by from him and move around him. Yep, there it was. Good move to the right. That was a bad line. Uh, he gave me the point by, but I should have slowed down. Uh, at least I recognized that I was going in kind of deep. So ended up going into the rumble strip there. Uh, tape took a lot more space, but didn't have to go into the uh, um, yeah. Whoa. Uh, a little bit of an oversteer. Uh, heavy on the brakes and the rear ended up being loose so I was able to kind of steer into it pretty quickly. Um, so it was, it was great, I was really uh, glad to be back on the track. Uh, we only had 20 cars, maybe even less than that, um, on the track so no traffic, no, no uh, trains at any given point. Um, I have only passed uh, very few cars. Everyone was pretty fast. I think the Subaru was another one that I passed in a little bit. I think he had a passenger with him and uh, doesn't have as much power as the uh, M2, so I was able to close up on them and then pass them. So you can see the hand signal there. Um, let's see if I do a better job with this uh, turn tap. That's better. You want to come close. You want to. The apex is. It's a, it's a bit of a. It's a. It's a mid to maybe slightly early apex. Meaning you want to get on the power before you hit the apex here. Um, but you definitely want to avoid uh, the curbing. Um, yeah. Here in turn one, curbing is pretty high. Will upset the car. Uh, there isn't then really any curbing on the left hand side here, so you want to avoid getting very close to the edge. No curbing here on the right side. Um, curbing here on the left is high. You want to stay just inside of that curbing. Um, and the curbing on the right hand side there, we just passed, is painted on so you can get on it. The curbing here on the right hand side, again, you want to stay off of that. That's elevated. And you want to stay off of this one on the left hand side. It's. Uh, it's, it's a bit high and you may also want to stay a little bit, a couple of feet off of it. Um, curbing on the right side and the left side here. Um, you want to stay off of, stay off of this one, get close. This one you can go over, which I usually do, and this one you, can stay, you want to stay off of this as well. Late apex and you can drive over this curbing. It's painted on. Um, it's really slick, but um, 
do want to be uh, careful on that one because once you go off of it, uh, you are in the moon. So, so we're almost done. This is my last lap. Uh, this was my fastest lap here. And um, this could have been in the 27th one. So that's all I have. Um, and if you guys have any questions um, about seat time or any questions about uh, Summit Point Main, uh, go ahead and leave those behind and uh, I will try and address uh, all of those. Thanks for watching.